And that's, and that's what this is about. The future is bright, and the future is about people like Yewande, people like all the speakers you've had today talking about what they're doing to make the future bright for everyone. That's why this is theme, The Future Is Us. We'll continue very quickly to something I promised earlier on. I'd said that you will see certain things here today that you'd never seen before. This would be things, innovations in all sorts of walks of life. And the next thing you will see, you've heard a lot of people talk about commerce, e-commerce. Sim talked about it. Uh, so, um, Sim talked about it. Emmanuel talked about it. A number of other speakers touched on it, that there's true innovation happening all around you. Folks are solving problems for this subregion in a way that it resonates with the inhabitants of the subregion. So what we're going to see next is a demo by a company called Slim Trader. And to give us or to walk us through this demo is the chief software architect, Chris Teitzel. So Chris, where are you? OK. So Chris is going to walk you through a product demo. He's titled From Mobile to Mobile. So I'll let him talk through it, and then we'll, we'll see what you think about it. Hello. Um, so today we're, we've been talking a lot about e-commerce, and where is e-commerce going, and how can a country like Nigeria benefit from e-commerce where you don't have the infrastructure for a traditional uh, brick and mortar store? Uh, what Mobiashara is, is a, a mobile platform for the masses. Uh, we talked earlier that uh, it, was, it was up to the entrepreneurs of Nigeria in order to create the jobs uh, for those that are, are recently out of college and looking for work. This platform offers the ability for those entrepreneurs to create and sell products online at no charge to them. And the, the benefit of that is that they can literally take a, a phone and create a store, upload some products, and within minutes have people buying them from them. And so I'm going to take you through a demo here real quick. On, and we're actually going to create a store live right here, right now. So uh, first off, we're going to uh, register here. We're just going to give it a quick test name, a fake email address, because I don't want to give mine to everybody. And so now it's going to ask for my phone number. This is important because what we'll actually be doing is, is in the future, we're going to be sending the store owner text messages, letting them know instantaneously that they have uh, a purchase on their platform. And so for now, we'll leave it there. Uh, logo, the, the purpose of this is not to, to build the Mobiashara name. The Mobiashara is just a platform for all of this to happen. Uh, these entrepreneurs are actually going to be able to upload logos, upload their store, and create their own online store. It's going to be their brand on there. So we'll call it uh, My New Store. And we'll just give it uh, an address of 123 here in Victoria Island. Oh, if I can spell. We're in Lagos. And we're going to say, this is amazing. So now we're going to create this new account. And you're going to see that it takes me. Oh, test is already taken. So let's try test one, two, three. Sorry about this. So what you're going to see now is my new store has just been created. It says, congratulations, you just created my new store. Um, you can see my, my address is there, the description that I provided, and it says available products. We don't have products. I can click here. And, and currently, we're, we're um, building this uh, platform from food products first, uh, but soon it's going to be able to go from everything from clothing to electronics, car parts. Uh, the sky's the limit. And really, it's a matter of what do you want to sell on this platform uh, we'll be able to sell. So 
Uh, we can add Asian food, East African food, West African food. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually log out here and show you a store that we created um, for a, a local business here uh, called Wild Shawarma. And so Wild Shawarma uh, is, uh, is based here in Victoria Island. And they're at Wild SWVI. Now, if we go there, you're going to see here's Wild Shawarma, Victoria Island. Uh, we've got their logo, which looks like some very delicious shawarma, uh, which about right now I'm kind of hungry for. Uh, we've got their address. We've got a uh, description from them about the store. And now we have the ability uh, do we want to smoke chicken hot dog? Do we want to smoke chicken normal? Uh, we can choose what type of meat, uh, how we want it made, and we will uh, add it to our cart. So it's going to add it to the cart, and then it's going to say, would you like to go through the checkout process? Now, I'm not going to bore you with the checkout process because they're all the same. But the, the interesting thing here is that the checkout process will work via multiple levels. So you don't have to have the traditional uh, Visa card, MasterCard. So in the US, when, when you make an online purchase, like with Amazon, and that's how they got their start, is everyone had a credit card, and everyone can use that. Well, in, in developing countries, that's not necessarily the case. And so what we've done is we've created uh, a link into QuickTeller, uh, the same people that were up here uh, showing their mobile banking earlier. You'll actually be able to go in, uh, put, a, put your order on hold, and then go to an ATM, or go to QuickTeller and pay for it there uh, through their service, and then come back. And when that happens, you'll get an email saying, you know, congratulations, your purchase has been made. Uh, but more importantly, through the checkout process, we're going to ask you, where do you want this delivered? Uh, and it's up to the store owner to deliver it to you. And so what, you're, what you get is uh, the benefit of having an Amazon and online shopping, but you're doing it locally. So you can go to the hardware store down the street without actually having to go there. You can have them bring it to you. Um, now, you may be saying, this is great. Uh, you know, Chris, not everyone here has an iPhone. Um, it does work on all the, the smartphones. But in developing countries, that's not necessarily the, uh, the most prevalent phone out there. Not everyone has a smartphone. So what we've done is we've built it on an SMS backbone. So, and this is the truly revolutionary part of this whole thing, is that it allows you to actually send a text message. And we have a, a, a copy of one up here. If somebody could come switch my video feed for me real quick here. Um, we have a demo of what that looks like. Um, but the idea is that when you register your store, you actually create a short name for yourself. So you're going to create a name uh, for Wild Shawarma. It's Wild SWVI. And so you can actually text Wild SWVI uh, Chicken Shawarma 1. And it will come back and say, well, where do you want this delivered? You can say, I want it delivered to uh, the Imperial Palace Hotel. Um, and so here's a, an example of it. And this is an actual text purchasing process. Wild Shawarma VI buy one normal chicken, is what that top one says. Uh, and it says, please provide your delivery address. It provides the delivery address. Uh, and then it goes through the same book on hold uh, features that QuickTeller has. And you'll receive SMS confirmation. And within, hopefully, 20, 30 minutes, you'll have a hot shawarma at your door. Um, and so what this, is, what this is doing, is, and it's live, actually. So you can actually go ahead and start ordering shawarma right now if you want. Um, but what this will allow us to do is uh, to be able to sell fertilizers, to be able to sell um, the tools and building materials that are necessary uh, in everyday projects. It's going to allow somebody, uh, whether they're on the street, whether they're out in the field, um, they're sitting there going, oh man, I just broke my shovel, I need a new one. They can pull out their phone, text in to their local hardware store, and have one waiting for them at home when they get back. Um, we believe that this is the type of, of e-commerce platform that's going to grow uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, because it doesn't rely on the it doesn't rely on the, the shipping. We don't have to have a a uh, universal, you know, UPS or a FedEx or anything like that. Uh, it's all local, and so um, yeah, that's that's the Mobiashara platform. Uh, we're proud to announce that today is actually our launch. Um, we wanted to save the uh, the big excitement for today, uh, and so it's it's live. And if you want to go create your own stores, you can do that today. Um, we encourage you to go test it out, try it out. If you have a question, um, please let us know. But um, thank you. So we're going to ask Chris some questions. So Chris, is this the alpha version, the beta version, or 
<laughs> it's, uh, it's what we would call a beta. So, okay. so alpha is what you test internally, beta is what you test externally, right? Uh, and so currently it's in, it's in the beta form. Um, there's going to be some, some little bugs here and there that we want to work out. Uh, but we need you guys to help us with that. We need you to create your stores. So if you're a business owner and you have something to sell, um, contact us. We'll help you get it up and running. Uh, we would love to watch it um, work and, and purchase through the process. So I have a good friend. He runs a bookstore. He has 7 million titles. We can, can handle it. Can he do that on yes. the phone like that? Yes. So and, and with a store like that, the, the, the best part about it is that um, with those short codes and with the texting, you can actually print menus or you could print catalogs. Um, so similar to the Sears and Roebuck that we, we heard about earlier, that they were printing catalogs and sending them out, but then that relies on a whole shipping infrastructure. Well, we don't have that here. So what we can do is he can have his bookstore on there, and you can order your textbook. You can order the next you know, bestseller and have it delivered to you. Um, and in the future, one of the, one of the features that we're adding, and we're going through some of the internal testing right now on it, is actually location aware. So not only is it going to... Uh, it's not only is it going to be able to purchase locally, it's going to know where you are and direct you to there. So you, all you would have to do is text it, shawarma. I want some shawarma right now. And it'd come back and say, well, wild shawarma is about five miles away from you, and they can deliver within 15 minutes. Is that OK? Uh, you can say, I want this book, and it'll, it'll uh, point you to the nearest bookstore. So there's a lot that this platform is, is able to do. So how much is it going to cost? To? To set up the store. Free. It's free? Free. You can go on and set it up the store right now, just like I did right there. OK, so what if I want an online store as well? That is an online store. So this, the, the beauty of it is that it's, it's a desktop. It works on tablets, phones, uh, smartphone, dumb phone, you know, <laughs> mid phone, whatever you want to call it, you know, average intelligence phone, uh, all those. It, it works on literally any and every device. So if you're, um, if you're an entrepreneur, uh, and, and I've been there before, one of the most expensive things in your startup costs, especially in today's day and age, is setting up your, your website. How do, you, how do you get that web presence? And of course, you want to make it look good and all that. Well, we provide the platform to do that. And so for free, you, can all, you have all the tools that you need to start your business. So if you have a product that you want to start selling, you can throw it on there and start selling it right away. Uh, and there's no barrier to entry. There's no uh, cost to start it up. OK. So now let me ask you this. So in this case, if I set it up, mm -hmm. right? How do you guys make money? Because obviously you can't be doing this totally for free. Well, we want to, but <laughs> <laughs> obviously we have to, we have to make some money. Um, we actually, there's a small margin on the text messages, and that's, that's the only thing we make. So it's not actually an added cost to the store owner, and there's no added cost to the, purchase, the person who's buying other than the text messaging rates. Uh, we work that out with the, the telcos, and it's all done through them. So, because the more that, obviously, you're texting, the more they like it, because you're, you know, Texting so on their is platform. there a cost to the transaction as well? Do you earn transactional costs if someone does a transaction through a store you give me for free? Do you charge me something for it? No, okay. no. There's no, there's no, there's no transactional cost anywhere in it. So literally, it's no cost for the uh, store owner, no cost for the buyer. Okay. Um, all of our, our money comes out of elsewhere. So, uh, and it, and it's a, and it's a platform in a situation like that that allows for this, um, you know, kind of entrepreneurial growth to happen because it there is no cost to start it up okay cool thank you very much yes, thank you